Hello everyone, my name is Bmark and today in this video I will show you how you can play Metroid Prime 4 on your PC using the Eden emulator. So let's get started with this video right now. Alright, first you need to download a emulator name as Eden emulator. So this is the website, you can click on it. Click on this download button. You can see different builds for different operating system. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click on this Windows area and click on this download button. Now you could come here and download for Windows. So there's you can see under Windows, MSVC, MD64, this is for Windows. You could download here for Windows or Ubuntu. You could do this. But currently with any of this build, actually Metroid Prime 4 does not boot up. So you need to have a very special build of Eden. So this is a very special build of Eden currently. This is a very experimental build that actually currently booting up Metroid Prime 4. As you can see, this is for Windows. You can download here. MSVC MD64. There are other builds for other different operating system. Alright, so to fully set up Eden emulator, I'll actually have made a complete guide on it. You can check this video right now in the i button and I'll put a link in the description below. You can check that guide video out and completely set up this Eden emulator. Alright, so next is how do you get the game? Well, if you want to get the game, just dump it from your own Nintendo Switch and play it on the emulator. Also, there is some other ways, obviously, you can opt in the game, but well, I'm not gonna provide any kind of link or walk through in this video, else Nintendo will just take this video down. So yeah, just dump it from your own Nintendo Switch and play it on the emulator. Alright, so after your emulator has been completely set up, so now let's just add the game. For that, as you can see here, it says double click here to add a new folder, so I'm gonna double click here and select the folder that has the games in it so i have my games in the switch games folder make and make sure your game is either a .nsp or .xci file with the correct file size i'll actually put on the screen the correct file size right now so yeah after that just click on the select folder button and as you can see all my games that are in that folder shows up right here and as you can see metroid prime 4 is also showing up Alright, so next let's do some settings. So for that we're gonna do emulation, go to configure. And now in here we have to do some settings. Now I have already shown many settings in my full Eden guide that I have linked in the i button and also in the description down below. So in here I'm just gonna quickly go over the settings. So first go to system, keep these options so with multi core CPU emulation, 4GB DRAM and limit speed percentage. Then go to CPU, make sure fast CPU time is enabled. Next move on to graphics section. If you are using an AMD or a Intel GPU, you have to use Vulkan. And if you are using Nvidia, you can use either Vulkan or OpenGL. And make sure your GPU driver is updated to see this API and your device. Next use these options as shown. Resolution keep it at 1x for now. You can try with 2x or 3x if you have very high-end GPU. I'm just gonna keep it at 1x. For anti-lacing matter, use SMIA and for adaptive filter, use Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which is FSR. Keep the FSR sharpness is some kind of value. Now let's move on to the advanced tab. Now under this advanced tab, in this GPU accuracy it is currently set to high, which basically means there will be less graphical issue, but that also means low FPS. If you set it to normal, which basically means there will be more graphical glitches, but there will be more better performance. So I'm just gonna click it on high right now. Keep this option as how it is. And use these options. Make sure this fast GPU time is enabled. On extensions, use this option. Now let's move on to the audio tab. Just keep it everything as auto. And now let's move on to the control section. Alright, now for controls, you can actually select different type of controller, like we have Pro Controller, Dual Joy-Con, Handheld, Right Joy-Con, etc. I'm just gonna keep it at Pro Controller, 
if you aren't playing on keyboard you can just click on keyboard and all the buttons will be configured to your keyboard you can just click on any of the button it says waiting and you can map it to any kind of different button Now, if you have connected a controller like i have a xbox one controller connected i'm just going to click here click on this xbox one controller and as you can see all the buttons will be mapped automatically to that controller if you want to keep the vibration on you can click on here you can also simulate the docked and handle feature that the switch has in this option so you have docked or handheld. Alright, so next is if you're having some kind of issue during the initial part of the game, like at the very initial, maybe you are having crashes during the cutscene or maybe, maybe some kind of crash happened during a battle. For that, I'll actually link in the description below a save file, which is just right after the initial part of the game. You can use the save file and continue your game. To put the save file in, just right click on the game here. And click on this open save data location click on your profile and in here paste your save file that i have linked in the description below make sure the save file are in correct order like as you are seeing here all right so next is if you want to clear your shader cache for your game just right click on this game go to this remove option and click on this remove all pipeline caches Click on yes and this will remove all shader cache. Sometimes doing this actually fixes maybe crashing issue or some kind of glitches. So next what I'll say is I'll actually put a pinned comment in this video with more information. Other information about some kind of crash fixes or any other extra information that I find. So don't forget to check that out. Alright, so let's run the game now and before running the game, I'll actually completely blot the screen out or else Nintendo might take this video down, but you might be able to tell at least that the game is running. So I'll just double click on it. All right, so the game has been started up. You might be just be able to tell that the game has started up. The sounds might be a bit messed up, but this is a very early stage of the emulator, so it will get fixed over time. So that is how you can play Metroid Prime 4 on your PC using the Eden emulator. So if you have come this far, please like this video right now and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!